We're going to get going here in just a second, everybody. Go ahead and invite your alliance in because today we're going to be gathering questions for Stay of the Game. So we want your alliance here. Tell them to come here and hit that follow button. Let's turn all that down. Turn it all down. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. Whether you're in Europe, America, or if you are like up super late over in our New Zealand and Australian areas of the game. Hope y'all are doing quite well. It's good to see you. Uh, today, we're going to go over events, go over the calendar, go over all the different things that are happening here in the game, as well as gather some questions for the upcoming State of the Game. We will be having State of the Game. It's returning, which is a good thing. Uh, Obsidian Hamster, the new community manager, has agreed, as well as Beck is overseeing some of the questions and answers and making sure that we're not going to have a let's get back to you episode. So we'll actually bring forth some ideas. Now, that doesn't mean that y'all are going to like everything that has to be said, but we are bringing back State of the Game, and I'm excited about that so that we can at least peer a little bit into the mind that is a scopely overlord. Arr. Anyway, we're going to do that, and then uh, I'm going to do all my ticket events and everything today, because why not? Uh, you you got to get all the resources that you can, and I've got an overflow of tickets, because I didn't even use all of my tickets when it was uh, the when we had the events during the month, since there weren't any currency events. A lot of times, I'll save mine for the big event stores, and since we didn't have that, I didn't really use that many that much. I still have a little extra laying around, so I'm using that to now go after some of these events and just picking up some loot, so... Yeah, there we go. Already excited if you are? I mean, I'm excited about the prospect to say the game returning because one thing I think that did improve last month and has been solid this month has been communication, but that has to continue, right? And if this game ever has a hope, is going to have a hope of the players being happy and feeling like they're, you know, heard and respond, we need to have stuff like that available. So I'm hopeful that, you know, y'all it will be enjoyable. That doesn't mean that we're going to pull punches. There's not going to be any softball questions, but, you know, well, well, when I say there won't be soft, there'll be softball questions. Like there'll be easy ones because sometimes the easy ones are needed to know because not everybody knows the easy ones. But that doesn't mean we're going to be like, hey, let's ignore the whole PvP event thing. We're definitely going to talk about it. I don't pull punches. So we'll go over that. We'll go over everything and we'll see what answers we can find. And I love Sandra coming in and says, can you ask about aligning event store times? Now, hopefully that is something that isn't, we are not waiting until May 3rd for, but sure that definitely can go on the list as kind of like a real basic one uh, and keep in mind that we can't just sit there and ask every question right like uh th this is an interview process type or interview style how we're going to do this we will try to go over big topics little topics and the overall stay of the game it's keep in mind that stay of the game is not meant to be a let's get everything we've ever wanted the game asked for it's more of a where's the game at right now and what is the big picture of moving it in a direction that we want to get to 
right? And, and when I say we, I'm talking about from the player side. Obviously, Scopely has their own ideas of what they want to get to, but I'm not necessarily worried about what Scopely wants to get to. I'm worried about what players want to get to. And then going through that and finding, you know, uh, some type of middle ground compromise, whatever word you want to use. And I'm not trying to use any buzzwords here, but trying to do stuff like that because there are good things, there are bad things, there are happy players, there are unhappy players, and there's a you know a, a mixture of in between for everything, and trying to find the happiness in that mixture, I guess. So, Dozier, but see, like Dozier, that one right there again, I've explained that one personally for weeks, right? Dozier, like to me, that one's not, and I'll and chat, I guess we can discuss if you want, but Dozier, like I've explained the the leaderboard issue for sixty plus for months now. That to me, that's not worth bringing up. And I'm not saying that in an offensive way to you. To me, it would be a waste of our time with the overlords to ask about that because we already know the answer and we know why it is what it is, right? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying that it's not an issue for you, but I don't feel like that's worth asking. I don't feel like, I feel like we need to make sure, and that's why I like having these weeks ahead of time. I wanted to have something like this a week ahead of time. And I'll also follow up with people who come comment after this video airs, I want to find things that are, that can be structural based things like that, but I want to find things that we can work, especially that affect the entirety of the game. You know, we, we know why the leaderboards aren't separated for 50s and 60s. It doesn't mean we like the answer. I don't like the answer. It's one of the reasons I'm sitting at 50, not 51. Like, I, I get that, but I don't want to take our precious interview time that we have, that players are going to attend and, and put it with a question that we already know the answer to. You know, All right? Because we know those are going to change at some point, but it comes down to a population issue. So as more people level up, like Rev refusing to do right now, as more people level up, then that will eventually get addressed. And anyway, we'll, we'll work on stuff like that. You know, we'll, we'll discuss things. And I am going to uh, put together a lot of these questions over the next week or two. We actually have a Discord that's being created for State of the Game that has... Uh, Scopely employees who will attend. The goal is to also have game design. Goal is to have live ops. Similar to what we've done before, but to make it into an official capacity. You know, over this past month, you know, myself, Ultimate DJ, we have had, you know, people from Scopely come to the streams. If you've been attending my Twitch streams, I think we've had, in the month of April, just in the past two weeks, I think we've had four or five different streams where Scopely employees attended that we got to get some basics in. But Stay the Game provides like an official opportunity for people to come live, see, hear those answers, maybe ask some questions, because I will have a little Q&A time scheduled during Stay the Game towards the end where we'll grab stuff from the audience. And then to really hit some of the big things that all the players are going to want to talk about, right? And we'll see how that goes. Don says, thanks for all the advice. I feel like you're way to have most players. Well, the truth is, Donald, you are. And I don't say that to boost my own ego or to, you know, show off my hubris. Oh, sometimes it is there. The truth is that even with me being the largest content creator on YouTube and probably the current largest content creator, unless you're counting like, you know, some discords that exist where we have some discords that are fantastic resources. I guess it depends on what metric you go by. But I've talked about this with Scopely. In any given month, we've compared metrics. I reach... 15 to 25 percent of the game depending on how many people come by the channel that means a vast majority of the game aren't coming to any content creator and getting the advice and we know how hard it is to find stuff and do stuff in this game so if you do come to a content creator it's one of the reasons that i tell people bring your alliance mates here the truth is most of the game does not come to these type of things they don't always have you know an opportunity to be in the know right there are things that they're simply going to miss out on that you won't and that will probably by nature simply make you a better player so we'll see are the rare officers now being paywalled as well i mean they are this month it, it varies so typically the traditional meta for how officer sourcing has worked in the past is when there are two rare officers one of them is paywalled one of them is a free-to-play path and what's been happening a lot lately is we've only been getting one rare officer. So I do think that's a point worth bringing up um, at some point. Whether that needs to be something that we bring up properly as, as content creators and moderators for feedback uh, or if something that's stay the game, we can discuss. But that's more the issue is like we, we know that the last uncommon officer released in the game was Badgie. Right? Badgie. 
that they've abandoned that. And, and the fear is now with all the epics coming out, they're doing that to rares. What happened to the possibility of trade and commerce between players? It was never a possibility. I mean, I realized that there was a market building, you know, discussed back in the beta. But I mean, we're five years into the game. We made it very clear that's not a thing. So that's not a thing. And we love Badgie. Yeah, we do love Badgie. Badgie is, is great. We we do like our Badgie. But still, it's uh he is the lone ranger when it comes to uncommons released in the past year. So GSKZ officer sourcing in general is bad. New loops is you need and you need to win SLB to get it. Not sourcing. I guess it depends. I mean, most of the new officers have been getting sourcing, but they're getting sourcing for GSK because I know where you're at level wise above your level, right? There are a lot of things in the game that do have sourcing. For example, Trip Tucker, Archer, they have sourcing, just not available to most players because it's set to level 51 plus. Q has sourcing, but only if you're 41 plus or 40 plus, if you're talking about consistent sourcing. So there are some sourcings, but they've split them into like areas of the game. I'm not saying good or bad. I'm saying that uh, they're doing that with a lot. And then you do have some that have no sourcing at all. And I would say that the biggest issue is even if there is sourcing, you might not know about it because it's all over the place. You don't have a singular place for sourcing. And yeah, are like, there's no, I mean, yeah, are like, come on, man. We're not talking about that. We can't name individual officers that don't have sourcing. But Harrison has no real value in the game anymore. I mean, you can find very niche uses for him. And there's a niche use for Tau. But what's more important is people having, like, the Enterprise E officers because that's part of the new grind meta. You know, the Voyager officers, the Strange New World officers. You can definitely... I mean, hell, you can't get Leslie, really, in the game without going through the worst sourcing mechanic in this game, which is the... What is it? The Elite Recruit. Absolutely terrible mechanic. Abysmally bad. Only way to get Leslie. If you want to do the cheese crew for your NX01, right? And Bob says, I hope you bring up performance and lag and stay in the game. And now it takes five to 10 seconds for systems to refresh. Bob, that actually might just be an issue that you're having because for the past three months, the stability scores that we've been grading have actually been improving month after month. I'm curious if others are having issues. I'm not saying that people aren't having issues. I know when this update rolled out, we had ghost ships, stuff like that. Bugs definitely happened. But stability as a whole this year has been trending upward, not downward. It's one of the few things that's been trending upward because events certainly haven't been trending upward. Grinds haven't been trending upward. I would say grinds improved this month, which is the first time that's happened in a while. But I would actually give them credit for making stability better, even though it's not perfect. And I can definitely agree with you that stability should get better, but it's definitely made a huge improvement. Definitely made a huge improvement. Bob says, so when is the quality showing up? Well, Bob, I know people are angry at the events this month, but this month has been a tremendous addition in quality of life. We just struggle to see it. We struggle to see it because of the frustrations through some of the events. The quality of life stuff added this month that many people may not have even noticed because of some legitimate frustrations are very real. You've had old grinds improved. You actually, I can count what seven grinds that have all received improvements or speed ups in one pr in one way or another this month and some of them scopely did their selves a disservice because they didn't even discuss them example when the patch notes launched they did not include the fact that they improved your particle generators they did come and say that after the fact but your particle generators actually give out double what they used to now so if you have territory Instead of getting 100, you're not getting 200, right? So they double that. Just little things that they've done that will tremendously speed up how quickly you acquire things. They even bother to tell people the day that it happened, right? And then just a lot of frustration has made it to where it's difficult to go look for those things because you're frustrated, you know, when things are happening and, and the player base is upset. But the territory changes were a fantastic quality of life improvement. The box update for X Borg was huge. I now no longer have to do Actian grinding. I don't have to do Borg Pro grinding anymore. That's great for a lot of players. Now, if you're not there level wise, that's okay. I, I get that. But I'm saying you got a ton of quality this month. But it can be hard to see that when other things aren't good, right? It's easy to see things when everybody's got it. Uh, Dozer says, where's the Archer trip sourcing? Not seen it in uh, 58 Ops anywhere. I'll tell you exactly where it is, Dozier. Now, again, this goes back to my point. To me, this is a flaw that the sourcing is not in one location, so it can be tough to know where everything's at. Trip Tucker and Archer are sourced through the Zindi Armadas. 
for level 51 plus players, Zindi Armadas. That's where the sourcing is for those two officers. Just like Lorca, and if you don't have the Section 31 skin for the Discovery, the only sourcing for Lorca is in your Armada pack for G4. Just like stuff that's all over the place that makes no sense. Like, why is it here, not there? Why is it all, you know, why is it so confusing? Zindi Armadas for level 51 plus players, Dozer. So that also, I think, is an issue where there's so much in the game, things are all over the place. It's difficult for people to know where stuff's at. And not everybody's a full-time content creator like Rev Deuce, right? And that's I love that y'all come to me to ask these questions and that I can tell you. I can tell you where they're at. But blah, right? Like you, you so much some of you hoops you had jump through to find what you're looking for. Right, this game has got a lot of bloat, and some of the bloat is good stuff. But when it's bloated, it's tough to find what you're looking for. Yeah, if you're looking for Trip Tucker and Archer sourcing, that sourcing is through is for level 51 plus players through the Zindi Armada loop. Zindi Armada loop. Ugh. So, Steven, that's another thing that's been inconsistent. Oh, do they add Lorca into the ultras as well? He might have. I, I remember Lorca's first sourcing. Lorca's first sourcing, first time he was ever sourced, was um, the G4 chest. That was the first time he was ever sourced. Second time he got sourced, we got the 631 skin. And I guess I guess, I guess they've added him into ultras. I didn't think about that. But it went through like a weird progression, right? It went through a weird progression. So... Would you rather stay on 41 until you unlock the BPs for the 42 or push to 44, 45? I mean, honestly, I, again, this goes back to strategy. I play a slow game. So I would sit at 42, build my ship, work on that ship, and enjoy my ship. But I play a slower game to the, you know, frustration, scopely. I encourage everybody to play a slower game. I think a slower game is a happier game for most players, right? It does depend on who you are and where you're at. But I would not rush up to 44, 45. I would enjoy the game where you're at now. And just and just chill. Do you like Mbanga? Yes. Now, I do want to remind everybody that we are trying to gather targeted questions for, say, the game. But every regular question is fine. I do like Mbanga. There's nothing wrong with Mbanga. Here's my thing with Mbanga. He's another Armada slash Hostile Officer. I've already got a ton of them. Now, you might not. I already have the... Strange New World crew for Hostile Grinding. I've got the Enterprise E crew for Hostile Grinding. I've got the Voyager crew for Armadas and Hostile Grinding. I have the Bajoran crew, which is, or the DS9 crew, which is the best crew for Armadas. I've got that thanks to the Bajoran loop. I don't need Mbanga, but he is good. It's not that he's bad. He's not bad at all. I just don't need him. So I'm not pushing too hard. I'm still debating how much I do. I'm probably going to do some of the recruit sms today right we'll do some researches stuff like that here on stream we'll go over that um but the new group that's coming out with mbanga and everything they're they're solid right so you've got the ability up here i mean he's just hostiles by the way he's a new part of new hostile run and then i think what sam has one that's a armada one but here's your mitigation boost which this is good it is good and then the Shield healing, make sure that your shields never drop. He's solid. He's just part of a new set of hostile grinding or continuing the theme of hostile grinding of Strange New Worlds. He's just not necessarily a must have or anything. But there's nothing wrong with him. He's not bad. He's not bad at all. YOLO says new officers for a not yet revealed hostile, maybe. Possibly. Or he's benefiting maybe a not yet revealed ship. You never know with Scopely. Like, when's the last time we got a new ship, chat? We know that they're going to drop stuff, right? And. and Getting them to change their ways can be difficult. So we know some things are going to happen and come, etc. The last ship we got was the Enterprise NX-01 in February. So March, April, and then if they... That means that we know they're going to do one in like May or June. How do I know that? Sure, let me explain. Last February, we got the Talios. Then April, two months later, we got the Titan. Then June, two months later, we got the Voyager. Then we waited three months and got the Monovine. Two months and got the Borg Cube. Three months got the NX-01. And now we're two months after the NX-01. So just going by their history, like this isn't me leaking any information. This is just me tracking, right? Just how the game works. We know a new ship is coming either next month or the month after, right? So probably going to work well with that. 
we'll see how that actually plays out but i mean again this isn't even me leaking information this is stuff that we can track and people that are completely weirdos like me do track we know that every two or three months for a year and a half they've put out a new ship and there's nothing that they've done lately to make me believe they're going to change that and i'm curious chat do you think they're going to change that i would think most of you would agree that's staying the same mike trip already has sourcing we actually just discussed that trip actually already has sourcing if you're level 51 plus if you're level 51 plus trip tucker has sourcing you just gotta you know go get it but he does have sourcing through the zindi armada system the zindi armada system so whatever a new ship would be whatever that's probably where you're going to see more of the strange new world crew work and again there's nothing wrong with these new officers i don't think they're bad at all i don't think they're unique though i think that's the best way for me to describe it so i'm gonna come down here to the strange new world set so here's sam kirk first then you got reduces enemy shield by 10 percent every round basically just yuki for non armada hostiles so he's actually weaker than yuki but he he actually gives you synergy with your strange new world set and then phaser based study increases critical damage versus your going against hostiles and then you've got mbanga and then my personal favorite of the group is nurse chapel which is increasing your loot drops which i personally don't care about but below decks i absolutely love this versus hostiles this is just enterprise data below decks fantastic ability what that's end up going to give you is you're now going to have enough to run two full strange new world hostile sets which means more ships you can rep grind with more ships that you can complete dailies with things like that that's good like that that's that's good I like that we like that so they're good officers they're just not necessarily like must have like they're not going to change your game because they're not providing anything new but they are good Reach Ops 50, about to get my second uh, faction lock. My stronger ship is 48 million. At what point should I go 51? Well, I would say if your stronger ship is 48 million, you are, you still got a time. You still got a ways. Uh, for example, my Pylum and my Tribune are both about 70 million. And if you go 51, things like your Silence with a 48 million powered ship are going to be likely impossible for you to beat. You can probably nab one or two, depending on your research officers and then using things like max fortification. I would say just going by one thing, just going by your ship and your rep lock, I would probably sit at 50 for a while, work on your research, work on your ships, make sure you're unlocking officers. Because also remember, when you go to 51, it's a big point of contention for a lot of players, you're probably not gonna be able to compete in the leaderboards anymore because 51 through 70 is the leaderboard for new officers. So I would probably have you slow down a little bit and sit at 50 for a while. Sit at 50 for a while. The event will be to obtain Nurse Chapel. The event to obtain Nurse Chapel is called whipping out your credit card. I am pretty sure there is no... I'm pretty sure there is no free-to-play path. I am very confident there's no free-to-play path to Nurse Chapel this month. So, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they change things. But I'm pretty sure as it sits now, there is no path for that. Silent not, not worth doing. Oh, I absolutely love doing silence, but I can do silence, right? And I said this before. If you can't do silence right now, as in you're not able to overcome them, ignore them. But the silence are a must-do loop for me. But I can do silence. Like, I have I didn't rush my ships. I st I, again, I play slow. So my pylum can go hit 49s if I want to and be completely okay. It's another reason I tell people to play slow because a lot of the new content Scopely's rolling out with expects you to be powerful for your level, not just at your level. So, eh, right? The month-long ARC events pay out chapel. But yeah, Jerry, but again, pretty confident you cannot complete that without spending. Pretty sure you cannot complete that without spending. Could be wrong, but if I remember my notes from the dev meeting... Not going to complete that without spending. So I don't want to like get anybody's hopes up. It's one of those things like if you read the events and everything, you're probably not going to do it. Talios carries you from 50 to 53 if you're uh, ready to max it at each level. I wouldn't agree with that anymore, XBuzz. I think that used to be something that you could do. But again, my if players are asking my recommendations, I'm not trying to just run the Monavine, Voyager, and Talios run. I'm, I'm doing faction ships because a lot of the stuff they're building now is built around faction ships. 
and I want people to be able to do the content. It's there's a definite frustration for a lot of the player base when they can't do content. So is she gonna be worth it? Oh, Chapel's absolutely worth it. I mean, it depends on what you place value in. In terms of hostile grinding and everything, Chapel is absolutely worth it because she's enterprise data below decks. So she's gonna be tremendously valuable. She'll be an immediate addition to my below decks. Immediate. So my Q trials will be easier. My hostile grinds will be easier. She'll be my one of my number one. I mean, she's not as good as Hugh, but she's pretty dang close. So I definitely want her. And uh, we'll try to complete any events. And of course, I will have the battle pass this month and everything and try to obtain her. But I mean, value-wise, yeah, she's huge. She's huge. Now, the good news is, though, if you don't have Chapel, there are other things that are, again, better. Again, Hugh is the best PvE officer in the game. If you're looking for needing a PvE officer, Hugh's the officer that you need. Chapel is also now a really good one. Enterprise E Data is a really good one. Enterprise E Data has extremely squirrely sourcing, but there are several good officers now. So it's not like there's only one that is the, the end-all be-all, and if you don't have it, you're in trouble. There are a lot of options now to create good crews. So you're fixing to push to fist, uh, 50. I'll be camping there for a while. Nice, Duck Man. Just be warned. Because I tell people to camp 49 only because at 50, just know that it is essentially free to go to 51. So just be careful. There's nothing at all wrong with camping at 50. Just remember, it's essentially free. You don't got to do anything. You can go to 50 and then immediately basically hit this button. So just be careful. The temptation to go to 51 will be real. So if you struggle with self-control, you might want to stay at 49. If you can control yourself and behave, absolutely go to 50. There's new research there's new things you can do and you can start through your daily events getting five star materials which is clearly going to help you for the future your daily leaderboard events if y'all pay attention to those i'm not sure how many people do if you pay attention to your daily leaderboard events you will have five star in some of these uh let's see do we have a leaderboard event no don't think any of these are leaderboards pretty sure they're not is this a leaderboard yeah this is a leaderboard click five star materials so if you're scoring in these, you're going to get five star at level 50, and you can use that to start saving for your upcoming economy. It's obviously smart, and y'all like playing smart. So, is there a way to get five star epic materials at Ops 53? Um, epics? Uh, not that I can think of at 53. I would have to go through events and see if there's an event that'll pay out the epics, but I can't think of a way to get epics at 53. So, don't you start refining five-star ship parts and resources at Ops 50? Nope. Nope. That economy does not start until Ops 51. Not start until Ops 51. Okay, so you see here on a level 50 account, this is what you got. Right here. So, all right. Uh, Treasury's coming sometime this week, Elvin. It's always generally the second week of the month. What is your advice on as I'm getting just freeballing it? Advice on what, Sean? You're the highest level 39 on your server? That's great, Blood Man. That's a great achievement to have. It is really cool to be like, hey, I'm the most powerful person at my level. That's a really cool achievement. It's one of the things that I freaking live for. I love that. I I, I just love being strong at my level. I just it's it it, it really gives me a, a good feeling really does got a question i'm a player returning to the game after a few years and when i come back i followed you guys i'm now level 24 going 25 uh 25 focus on getting the vidar the meridian basically you're in the 20s you're focusing everything you have on specialty ships specialty ships research and officer acquisition you want to get transporter patterns while you're in the 20s you're spamming the recruits through factions to max out officers you're doing your field trainings uh, but your specialty ships, officer acquisitions, those are your focus. Faction ships things aren't really a focus, even at the end of the 20s. Um, you can pick you up a Centurion or something if you really want it. But at 25, that's the thing you're focusing on. Getting your faction ships invested in, putting up with their you know grinds and doing those levels, and then getting transporter patterns as quickly as you can is really going to help you later on. No uh, G5 warships are not currently in the away team store. You know what? That's something I'll bring up in the state of the game. When are we finally going to get that added in? Because it's been promised for the longest. 
So we'll, we'll get that. that. That's a good one. You know what? That's one of those softball questions. I can give them ahead of time so they can go ahead and make that happen. Top five for the game. Duckman. That's dope. I mean, let me see if I'm... Let's see if Duckman's lying. Let's go look up Duckman real quick. I can pull it up. You said you little top five, little four nine in the game. Let's see. Let's see if we see a Duckman. Duckman. Are you Captain Snow Duck? Are you Captain Snow Duck? Mr. Duckman, is your in-game name Captain Snow Duck? Are you on Server 70 in the U.S. Marine Corps? That's you. You have 131 million power. You are literally 15 po uh, million power stronger than me. You should be making a YouTube channel. Get out of here. Why are you even here? Great job, by the way. You're doing awesome. You're doing awesome. What level do you start refining five-star parts? Uh, what, 55? I'd have to pull up the, the operations chart again. Master operations chart. I had to pull that up. It's in our Discord. I think it's 55. I think it's 55. But, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, chap. How do you find what server you're on? That one's easy, uh, JV. I love easy questions. So just go to your base, click it, see where it says home. Mine's home 20. That's the server you're on. Server 20 right there. Bam. Bam. Got it. Nailed it. Oh, look at me helping out the people. If you're on 49 for long, you uh storing seven day keys and broken to ceiling rods, coming to 50. I will say that another bonus to going 50 is you go into your chest, your 30 day chest, five star. Right there, five star. Starts paying out some of those uncommons and stuff. I mean, it's not a lot, but I mean, if you're just trying, if you don't really need those at the moment, you can save those up and get you a few months of those saved for when you go in the 50s and just get you a little quick infusion. Everybody likes a quick infusion. All right, let me get back in here and hostiles aren't spawning. So let me re-click on in. There we go. Now we'll hit. Been there for six months. Have 20 million in each G4 raw. Can buy Valdor outright. Halfway in Fed Crest by the Newton. Have all ships max, each faction minor max, everything else you need for 42. Man, Blunt Man, sounds like you have done 39 extremely well. Whoever gave you advice, you tell them that they're amazing. Tell them they're amazing. Good to see you, Shane. By the way, we are trying to get some questions and, and getting ideas from y'all. We've got about 380 people here, but working on Stay of the Game. And this upcoming Stay of the Game is planned for May 3rd, which is in roughly two and a half weeks. May 3rd. So get your alliance in here. Get your server in here. Because I do want as many people represented as possible. I want thoughts represented as possible. We don't want this to just be Rev's you know, opinion forum. That's not what we want. We want to be the player opinion forum. That's always been my goal with Stay of the Game. So make sure you invite your alliance to come on by, or at least watch this uh, stream after the fact. Is that new building really set up to take 12 years to get to level 50? I mean, it's it, yes. Will that change? Yes, I'm sure it will. That's not the first building to roll out with a super long timeline. Will it get changed? Yes. Why did they make those pain points so bad in the beginning? Well, that answer is easy. Uh, let me see if I can grab my thing that doesn't have much in it. Where is it? Where's my wallet? I mean, there's no point in me having it. it ain't much in it. Uh, I think I actually have it in the car. So I'm going to use these 50 euros that Ripper gave me when he visited for Christmas. So we can sell building upgrades. We make a pain point. Takes forever. It's exactly like Artilac says. a fake timeline. So we make things look so awful so that people will buy the upgrades... And then, a few months down the road, like, hey, guys, this is awful. Let's make it less awful. So you're basically just paying a premium to have it good in the beginning, which is normal, right? That's how these games work. It's not just a Star Trek Fleet Command thing. That's a thing, right? That's a thing. That's a thing for everybody. So no big deal, no skin off my back on that. But yeah. Just waiting for Rev to press uh, 51. Hey, you're going to be waiting a while, Benji. You'll be waiting a while, my friend, because if I've got people like Duckman who've got 15 million power on me and they're a level behind me, that tells me that I need to work harder. In fact, here's where I rank amongst level 50s. I promise I'm not even in the top 100. Level 50, where are you at, level 50? All right, level 50. I am sitting at rank... Oh, uh, 
I'm around the 140th strongest level 50 in the game. About rank 140, where I currently sit. So you can bet your bottom dollar, I don't want to be there. I want to be bigger, better, stronger. I want to be impressive. I want y'all to look at Rev and go, holy crap, this guy's super strong. So I always tend to do that. I always tend to go look at that and say, hey, look, love the game. Good game. Ready to level up in some ways, but in other ways, clearly I need to improve. Which by the way, if you're watching, make sure you do your anomalous phenomenon. Don't forget. So you don't need an Epix Max to get your strongest. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot to do. I've got plenty to do, which is why I said you gotta be very careful with that button. Because you can easily go to 51. And I could go to 51 now, and I could complete everything I needed to do at 51. I just don't want to do it yet. I want to be in the top. Because even for my server, let's see where I am for my server. Just server 20. I am rank. Let's reset this to see server 20. Level 50. I am... I'm like rank 15. So I'm not even the top on my own server. I'm not even the strongest level 50 in my alliance. I would like to obtain that goal. I would like to obtain that goal. That is like a driving force to me. What makes me want to be better and stronger than, and, and, and push that stuff like that. that stuff like that. Uh, Trinity, that is the website. We, we made a video about this, but it's stfc.wtf. You can see where you rank amongst your peers. FTFC.WTF. All right, come back in here real quick. And Scott, uh, I've been working really good by getting this done, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade this bad boy. And we'll start doing some research. Punch you up is your motivation? Well, that's the thing, Doug, man. I can punch up pretty damn well. Obviously, I could always do better. I am like, I think 300 rare parts away from my... Island being tier 10. And that would help. There's a bunch of research that I'm going to be doing here. So you're going to see me blow through a lot of latinum. Um, so don't don't get mad at me. I'm sorry. I just, I got to blow through the latinum. Make it happen. Oh, it's painful, but it happens. This is why I do latinum missions every single day. I spam the latinum mission in my away team religiously. Religiously. You're the ninth strongest 39 on your server. Hey, well, that just means that you now have a goal to start working toward, right? My M score has been improving. Y'all should be proud of me. Y'all know that's been a, a, a label of shame. That's been my scarlet letter has been my M score. Well, my M score is now up to 127. I mean, it, this same time last year, it was like at 50. So I've been working on it, getting it upgraded. Just need to do more scrapping, upgrade it even more. But... Rev's finally getting his M score up. Y'all can be proud of me. Be proud of me, please. I'll work really hard for y'all. You swapped alliance today. Now I'm at the server rank one alliance. Uh, all thanks to me. Well, thanks, Joan. I'm glad that I'm able to help your gameplay. Because at the end of the day, I want everybody here in this chat to be having fun and having a great time. And I have gotten a couple days worth of temporal disruptor parts. That's good, too. John, it's great to see you. Miss Lisa, absolutely wonderful to see you. To see both. This went to Ops 45. I was at 44 for over a year. Might push 46. Alisa, I would say go 46 because Pylum, Coronar, Newton, new ships, cool. And the ships are great. Like the ships at that level are great because all three of them have arguably the best hostile or the best ship ability of any faction ships in the game. I mean, they're great. They're great. So, went to Ops 50 last night, built the tribute, took it to tier five. Thanks for the guidance. However, I need speed ups. Where can I grind it? Only 150,000 latinum. Uh, so what kind of speed ups are you looking for? Make sure you're doing your discovery pulls every day, which is why we encourage people to make sure they're doing their anomalous phenomenon. But make sure you're doing your disco. Get your disco in. Do your disco stuff. And beyond that, also, you have a couple of systems you can grind in. There are also a couple of new turn-ins that give out good speed ups. And as far as latinum, spam, 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 spam the away team's mission. This one right here, form trade agreement. There's actually a couple other ones like host ambassador. Spam these things. Get all these abilities upgraded that you can. All right, so I've, uh, I'm not going to pull Neelix off, but I could pull Kang off, I guess. But for now, let's just use Gold Dukat. 
how where which is that his ability diplomats his first ability yeah we'll blow that right now yeah we'll do that right now every single thing that does latinum i haven't even done this mission yet and then charismatic i have kirk i know i have him and then we'll do another attack officer so i'll do gorkon and this is a one day one but there's five thousand it's not a lot but i'm telling you when you do these thirteen thousand lad five thousand you're doing these multiple times a day you're not using speed ups every day i basically use my speed ups when i come on stream it adds up those are the big ways get your latinum through those means do your events like parabellum and everything and your latinum get up it's just you got to make sure you focus on that but more importantly focus on the crit rates right focus on the crit rates ben says heard that the newton is just a bad ship nope it's not that's not true i don't know who lied to you but it ain't true newton's great because it has the same ship ability as the pilot on the corner the only drawback to the newton is it's a battleship so it's slow but here's the also the benefit battleships tend to actually be better long term because they have more hull health right now if you're a big pvp player the pylum is going to be your thing if you're like in the middle like you like pvp but you also like you know armada stuff like that maybe you want to counter pylums on your server coronar's a good bird you know the pvp is really all about carol freeman these days but there's no wrong answer at 46 now john adds in there's no cloaking i would say this as somebody who is a predominant romulan and klingon player i'd never use cloaking but if cloaking is important to you you have no cloaking on the nuke a good point to bring up but no it's not a bad ship like you're not going to get the newton and be like oh i can't do anything that this pylum can do you'll still be able to do what the pylum can do right now there was a time many researches and officers ago where things like the saladin were the greatest ship in the game and the pylum was the greatest ship in the game those days are past us right now we still have those days living in stories and fond memories and people still bring them up and cite them as if they were still true those days are over the days were like a singular ship like the saladin is god tier at its area they're gone so that doesn't mean they're not valuable but don't feel like you picked the wrong ship pick what you like and i promise you it can work out well uh, i'm looking for a research speed up so give me just a second there we go i want to get my research speed up since we're doing all this stuff save as much as we can with latin that's another thing that i used to not do is use these speed ups if you really want to save latinum and stuff make sure you're using those exo comps make sure you're using the exo comps i will say this about the newton it is ugly that's a drawback to the newton it's hideous it looks terrible in my opinion it's disgusting it's ugly but it works perfectly fine plenty of ugly people have jobs look at me i'm a streamer you don't have to look good to be good you don't have to look good to be good that's an old research i might as well do that one just just because it's been sitting there for a while can i show what marrow what do you want me to show what do you want me to show how long ago was it uh when you reviewed the various holiday missions oh it's been about a year and a half it's been a while unless your job is modeling uh, you want me to show you the new have you never seen a newton marrow so i haven't built one yet but i do have i can show you the shipyard uh, maybe you you're maybe in the 30s you can't see this yet so we'll just do this by shipyard level so you can see them all side by side scroll 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 where, where are you at buddy all right there we go there's your newton pylum and coronar right there there's your three your 24 so here's your newton remember the big thing about all three of these ships it's ugliest it's ugliest sin but the big thing with all these ships is the ship ability because this is giving you more armada loot giving you more reputation all those things that's what makes that so valuable that's what makes that so valuable so there you have it there you have it so let me go reset this node real quick before i forget about it i do have the memory of a goldfish there we go here click there we go yay mining so much fun newton equal kit bash truth is that scopely does do kit bashes but at the same time that's something star trek has done for a long time so i can't get mad if scopely comes up with a, a federation kit bash like they did with the north cut now the newton was actually in the kelvin timeline but i can't get mad at those because that's that's a very star trek thing 
It's a very Star Trek thing. Oh, that's such an expensive upgrade for basically nothing. Go ahead and just start this. Hey, Viper, good to see you. I actually, we just finished our anomalous phenomenon. We just did it. But thank you for the reminder, Viper. I always appreciate it. Because I do... Oh, wait, I've not finished. I've got a couple more kills to do. I do have a tendency to forget anomalous phenomenon. And thanks to y'all, I've been remembering it so much better. Put that. And let's see my refineries. I don't think they'll reset yet. I think I still got to wait a little bit. Oh, nope. Got it right there. Bam. Look at that. It was waiting for me. I just don't have the Cerritos. And I don't have technological distinctness. And they add more systems for silence, especially low levels, waiting for the right type to spawn. I think the better option, Slither, is to be able to is to just hit the bigger ones. Like, I'll hit the 49s if no 46s are available, which just goes back to what we talked about, you know, really slowing your gameplay down to being strong for your level. That way, when Scopely comes out with these new loops that are a little bit harder, you're able to complete them without a problem. So, there's a, there's a balance to be found in all things, I guess. You have 91 Newton BPs? I want more Newton BPs. Tempted to pull this, but man, I'm saving rares for favors. Tempted to pull that, but I got these. And I love them. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I love this so much. I'm so happy they added that. That's one of the best things they've added in this game in a long time. So happy with that addition. All right, speed up, please. And we'll go back in here and see if I have anything in the outlaw that I can do now. I can do plutonium bartering, but that's pointless. Pro credit yield. Nah, that don't mean anything to me. Getaway pilots, warp speed, woo, warp speed bonus, believe it or not, that's, we actually do like warp speed bonuses around here. Sneaky backhander, also a great way to just throw a little bit here to help your independent credit sourcing. This is a once a week pull, so it's nothing insane, but it is helpful. Also want to say a huge thank you to Rex. Rex just sent a donation and a tip to support the family. Thank you so much, Rex. You are amazing. You're amazing. I, I say that truthfully. I appreciate you. People like you are how we're able to support our family. And with um, things not going to plan lately with that and the surgery getting pushed back, I appreciate you helping with that and helping pay for all the fees, the anesthesia, and all that other stuff. Thank you. I'm going to put it up on the board. And if anybody else wants to, never require, but greatly appreciated. Uh, there's your donate link. Exclamation point donate. PayPal Venmo Cash App. I'm going to put it in here just so I don't forget it. Rex added. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just unlocked your first super highway. Ah, oh, super highways are great. Uh, one of the things that players who aren't in the 50s yet, when you get there, you will appreciate super highways. Something you definitely want to focus on. So, as the game is more horizontal, is it worth maxing the 26s before 34? I would still say no, just because you need those materials for other things that, in my opinion, are more important. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't do them. I think there are other things that are more important. Sneaky backhander. Okay, that's one we just did. So let's speed this one up. There we go. All right. Working on my things. Also need to do G5 impulse or G4 impulse. And you see, I need more rogue reputation. So I still have got ways to go on things. And I think we finished an almost one. I only hit one more 29 to make sure. One more to make sure. If it is today, go and review the Super Highway video. Nice. Uh, so remember, Super Highways will come into play once you get into the five-star economy. Level 50 is not that, but it starts here in Rua. And you're going to unlock, start going here, and it really helps. It also lets you like send horizons out there if you want to. And actually, I have, uh, Paulo. Paulo asks, have I finished my Armada research in the Monavine? Go to my Starship's tree. Scroll way to the right. Maxed, maxed, maxed. I do still need to max out the reputation one, though. Still need to max out the reputation one. But yes. Now, these type of researches I do when it isn't an event day. Because they don't take uncommons. But yeah, these are big. Those are big. I actually need to go run more armadas now. Am I running an armada by chance? Just still running? Because I'll, I'll send a ship out to that. Doesn't look, it looks like they sped it up. It looks like they sped it up. Oh, well. All right, let's go ahead and recall that. And we'll go do some Q trials because I got to do my Q trials. 
it's always fun if anyone is wanting to farm g6 stuff before sending to 61 plus the nxo one hostiles can get that stuff in loot chest good note there uh john good note good note I spawn this in and go uh beat up this auger with my pylum romulan sentinel y'all got questions bro man only three bps away to get an a flower very nice nicole and that's gonna be great if, especially at 34 you can scrap it and use that to get a couple of free primes <clears throat> and i think everybody in the chat likes free primes i think just everybody can agree free primes are good free is good we love free f-r-e-e -E, that spells free dreadreport.com baby i don't know why that came out i'm so sorry i'm so sorry <sighs> it's tough being a weirdo it's tough being a weirdo around so many normies you guys want commerce to these a hundred thousand i mean again that's not worth putting in state of the game greg but you can speed up your commerce insignia acquisition, remember, through summoning your ships in the DQ system, the Borg systems. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's super fast, but that does help a lot. I think I'm at like 25% now. I'm at almost 26%. So that speeds it up a little bit. I also need to do more of this, but I haven't yet. You're just listening to that song? Oh, well, nice. Now I feel less weird. Face for radio and voice for silent movies. That's me, Viper. That's me. That's me. Do you ever get to a level to scrap your Vidar? No, the Vidar is not scrappable. When you hit level 35, if you have a max Vidar, you'll get a mission that you can build the Talios, but you never scrap the Vidar. Or it's never a scrappable ship. At least not yet. When these SLBs are running, I usually get tempted to throw a little amount of resources for those 26s while I know I should wait. I mean, if you are in a place, Vince, where you believe that would allow you to win the leaderboard, that's good logic, right? I would say look at things like speed up uh, uh, research is first. But honestly, if you can win leaderboards and get officers now in the 20s, then there's nothing wrong with that as a strategy. It's a completely viable strategy. Absolutely a brilliant idea. I'm just, uh, I would say just be very careful because if you had to choose between upgrading your Vidar or upgrading a D3, the Vidar is 1,000% more important, right? Vidar is way more important. That doesn't mean D3 isn't beneficial. If you're talking about what's going to be more important for you long-term, definitely the Vidar. Holy heck, thank you so much, Tegan. I gotta give a big thank you here. It says, to help with the surgery. Also, I think I might be shadow banning your chat, so I'll ask here. Uh, Tegan, I don't ban anybody in the chat, FYI. I don't ban people unless somebody comes in spamming. But we do have like 400 people, so sometimes things get missed. I apologize if I have missed your question. But what Forbidden Tech do you use on your pylum? And do you find yourself moving Forbidden Tech among different ships? Or do you generally keep them in the same place? So I answer the second question first. I keep mine in the same place. The reason for that, I'll explain in a second. And what Forbidden Tech do you use on my pylum? So my pylum has the Metreon Cascade, which if you are a free-to-play player or light spender, is the main epic one that you get early on, and it is the best. That sits on the pylum. Now, when my Tribune finally takes over, if I ever decide to make the Tribune take over as my primary grind ship, it will get the Metreon Cascade. Metreon Cascade needs to go on your primary grind ship. Rep grinding, hostile grinding, etc. Whatever you're hitting Silence with, whatever you're hitting Zindi with, whatever you're hitting Borg Probes with, not necessarily board probes because I'd be moving it on your Talios, but you get what I'm saying. Your main freebooters with, that's where the Metreon Cascade goes. And as you tear it up, you can actually make your ship significantly stronger. But I don't move them around. They are static. And I will simply move them around as needed. So like I just have this little crappy one on the Coronar. It doesn't really do much, but I want my Coronar to be good in Armadas if I ever use it. So that's on there. And then currently the Tribune has got this piece of junk common one just because it's what i have right now i'm not really investing in this right now because all my tear up catalysts are getting saved for the metreon cascade but i am working on unlocking the borg alcove as you can see i'm getting close and i'm also working on unlocking the time crystal so it's gonna take time to do that i'm gonna i'm working on the time crystal specifically for my vorcha the vorcha will have this because I want to do PvP with the Vorcha. So that's how I plan out some of my things. But generally my FTs don't move around. Because you will run out of that material to move them around. If you just are constantly click, 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 clicking. So I don't move them around very much. 
Uh, and I've got four hours before I can claim those again. And I did accidentally claim the Thaleron, but anyway. Yeah. Working on the Borg Alcove as a rare and then working on my Vorchaz FT, which will take a long time to get to. But it's one of the things that I'm working on. And uh, again, it goes back to what I said before. Goals to set and everything. You like having good goals to set. I get more reputation. Ugh, pain in the booty. Pain in the booty. All right, let me um, grab a couple more of these real quick. Get these upgraded. What does hold density need? Shockwave shield. Oh, gosh. It needs all... I got a whole list of things to do. Holy heck. All right, station destruction. We'll get you worked out. We'll get you worked out. Tactical battleships. Yep. We'll upgrade that. That's for our pylum. I'm sorry, our tribune. And we'll let those helps get sent in real quick, knock down some of those days, and then we will speed those up again. And then, hey, my Enterprise will be done scrapping at the end of the day. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey, we like that. Also, buzzy, buzzy. Let's see what this is. Um, what are export emblems in the exchange for? Currently, nothing. If, you, if you're talking, I'll show you what I think you're talking about if I remember right. You know about this? Right here? Currently nothing. Currently used for nothing. That reminds me. I need to go hunt more traders. Hunt more traders. Am I investing in Mbanga? I am investing in the heroic SMS slightly. I am not trying to win the leaderboard for Mbanga, which is currently for my board, I would need to score 10 million to be in the top three. Yeah. I would need a lot. I am going to go ahead and pull all this real quick. Because goodies. Gay goodies. But I needed more of those. Always need more credits for X Borg. Looking at everything I've gotten so far. And then, uh, yeah. We'll get that below deck one there eventually. Get one there eventually. Also, recall this. Wrong button. Click here, collect all these, and that should finish my daily. Now I still got to do faction grinding. So keep throwing those questions. Love helping y'all out, man. I don't care if you're level 10 or level 100. And if you're level 100, you're probably a dev. And Tegan, dude, Te Tegan, again, thank you for donating to the channel, man. I really appreciate you supporting me and my family and helping with the kids. And Tegan, do me a solid if you're listening. I don't care if it is spammy. Type like five messages. I want to make sure you're not shadow banned because I don't ban people, but I do want to make sure that you're showing up in chat. Just keep in mind there are 430 people watching here. I do try to address everybody that I can because every single person is important to me. Whether you have a fancy green name, blue name, gray name, doesn't matter. Just type a few things. Say, you, I'll even give you permission. Use all caps and say, Rev is a donkey. I don't care. I do want to make sure I can see your chat because if I can't, we need to figure out why. But, I appreciate you supporting me and my family. Holding at 102 and had to work for that. Nice, Nicole. Oh, there you go. Okay, so Daggerath. Okay. Well, first off, your name's not Tegan. No wonder I didn't see you. I was like, dang it, did I miss somebody named Tegan? But I do see you, Daggerath. You didn't say that Rev's a donkey, but that works. I do see you. It was just a case of there being a lot of people. My apologies. I do try to get as many people as possible. Joan says, Rev is amazing, but I can't say you're a donkey. Thank you. I heard you say earlier, no ship is God tier. Does it all break down to ship build and research now? It all breaks down to officers and research. Now, there are, I would say that there's probably one exception to this rule. And players like John who are in the chat, and maybe if Ming is here, K92, etc. There's one exception to that rule. I would say the only exception to that rule right now is the cube. But, one second... The cube needs to be like at least tier 12. So the cube has to be for a player in the high 50s and 60s. High 50s to mid 60s, the cube is the best PvP ship in the game. No, not even close. Arguably the best wave defense ship in the game. But you, <laughs> the number of people that applies to is so small. It's just a little few people. It's just a, a few different people. But... This thing, if you're a high 50s to mid 60s player, is hands down the best PvP ship in the game. So, there's that one exception. 
Now, if you've got it like I do at level 50, it's a beautiful paperweight. And it's an expensive paperweight. Holy heck and heck balls. It's an expensive paperweight. But it is pretty. It is very pretty. And there's nothing wrong with being very pretty. Nothing wrong with being very pretty. All right. Tell you what, chat, since y'all have been so much fun today, we're not ending the stream or anything, I'm going to let chat decide. Should I take the Tribune to Tier 9 or leave it at Tier 7? Chat decides. I can't take it to Tier 9 a day, but if I hit an upgrade button, that means I am making the move to upgrade the, the Tribune. I am making the decision to invest in the Tribune to Tier 9. All right, so we've got one person says Tier 7, two Tier 7s, and literally everybody else says, uh, okay, three Tier 7s. Okay, I, so far it's pretty clear people want me to start upgrading it. Four Tier 7s. Okay, I think the sevens have lost it. Uh, th this is, I, I wish my American Congress could agree on stuff like this. Okay, so that means that we will be upgrading this Trabune. Good thing that we have a leaderboard right now. It's going to be painful. Turn your, avert your eyes. Avert your eyes if you don't like pain. Oh, man, look, look at all the big booms. Oh, look at all these things. It's, it's pain. It's just pain. Look at it again. Click that one. Oh, click that one. Then I'll click that one. Then I'll click that one. Oh, gosh. I didn't realize I could go all the way to tier eight. Now my pylum's really going to be pissed because now my pylum's not going to tier 10 anytime soon. Hi, yi, yi. Well, Guess who just scored in the leaderboard? Hey, this guy. Oh, pain. Pain. Without love. Pain. I can't get enough. Pain. Like it rough. All right, and I still haven't even finished the leaderboard, so there's that. All right. Well. All right, Mr. Tribune. Time for you. We go hang out in Yarda or Ilmatar. You go chill out and enjoy. Have fun. That was pain. Now here's the problem. I just ate all my crystal. The problem though is I, I've been low on the ship parts anyway. So, but it just ate all my crystal. So what that means is now we're going to, have to take this bad boy and scrap it in eight hours. Ay, ay, ay. Open my support refinery. Why? What about it? I'll teach you to listen to chat. That was painful, Edmund. At the same time, I now have a tier eight tribune, so <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. Where's the cube? Right here. Right here. I got a DM. I want to make sure I responded to it. All right. Your problem is tier 10. Very nice, Viper. Paulo, you're confused. We were upgrading a Tribune, not a board cube. We were upgrading a Tribune, not a cube. We were upgrading a Tribune, not a cube. Tribune is so much sexier. At level 45, you'll get sent more shots if opponent is burning. You're right, Ming. There are definitely reasons to take this thing to level 9 or tier 9. There definitely are reasons. There definitely are reasons. Also, should I just go ahead and beat this hostile captain? Of course I should. I deserve it. I deserve it. Oh, you're talking about the, the cube unlock? That'll be in here. It's not in your support tab. The cube unlock comes in your gift chest. But again, I can't afford to upgrade the cube anyway. I can't afford to upgrade the cube. I can't afford to come into here and uh, get my paltry parts for my interceptor, though. But, yeah. Now I'm slowly making my way back to 
some level of things. Oh, pain. Pain. All right, let's... A couple more, we'll speed those up. But I definitely got to scrap that D4 now or get some of that stuff back. But tier 9, and I wanted to get the pile into tier 10. This is what happens when I let chat make decisions. But I knew I had a pretty good idea what y'all were going to choose. So this is also why we focus so much on doing all these. And that's why I did solos yesterday. So that I can make these pulls and it not be too terrible. Not be too terrible. Now, I still need to do wave defenses. But we're good. We'll always shoot. Chat will always choose streamer pain. James says, I just built my board. It's running out of G3 and commons. Those numbers on the Tribune look scary. I will tell you this, uh, James. The four-star economy, you do earn more, or you earn at a faster rate than the three-star economy. So I'll show you an event real quick, just so that you can know this isn't like ridiculous. But take a look at this one. The so defeat hostiles with an explorer. I need to go pull out my core or do some rep grinding. But like the top milestone here is going to give me 900-ish, you know, a little under 900 four-star crystal. A little, uh, you know, 250 of that four-star crystal that I just spent. So you do get more. You do get more. I'm not saying it's like great. I'm not over here bragging about the four-star economy. It is significantly better than it used to be. But you do get more from events in four-star than you do in three-star. All right, where is our Coronar actually at? Oh, you're over here. Let's swap you out. Get our Coronar here. And we'll just send the Coronar out, let it do some rep grinding, and that'll count for our event. So we'll come up here, and how far can you go? How far can you go? How far can you go? And we need to set the Monovine out. Do that grind. All right. So take my Sanctus, Vorcha, and Corvus all to tier seven. Oof. Um, Vorcha, yes, because it's Klingon. Uh, Sanctus, I would probably say yes. And then Corvus, uh, I mean, I don't know if you need all three of them tier seven. Are you going to get another 56 ship? Ugh, are you going to get another 56? Uh, that would probably be my first question. So. Been ship uh, XP grinding in Texas space? Yeah, it's a great place to do it, uh, ASK. Great place to do it. You do it in augment space or Texas space. Both work perfectly well. I just threw it out here. We're going to let it sit. It's going to need to take forever to, to do its levels, and we'll just let it sit there until I want to go pull it for an armada. There you go. Tier 6 is plenty for uncommon G5. It is, but you get to Tier 7. Remember, part of the 579 methodology that I use is it's a balance of ship ability, officer spots, things like that. So there's a, there's a few different things that go into that when, when I do like my self calculation, if you will. But I generally, unless you're a spender, I never go to tier 12. Unless you're a spender. Spenders can make that decision. I, I, don't, I think the average player can't. Uh, tier 12 would just take so long. Now, it is possible. Truthfully, it is possible to, if you sit in the 40s long enough, I'll show y'all how much I have. Now, this is a light spender account. It is possible. Oh, that's a building. Whoops. Uh, it is definitely possible to get the epics before you get all the rares. Because it's really a pain in the butt to get the daggum rares. The rares are harder to get than the epics. At least it feels that way. So you could, in theory, do that if you wanted to. But I don't really recommend it. I don't really recommend it. All right, let me come in here and we'll find more things to upgrade. Because clearly I have fallen behind on some upgrades. So we'll go back to here and we'll just spam this. Oof, I'm out of four-star crystal. That's really going to hurt my upgrades here. I got to go do some events so I can afford to actually do these. And we got that one. Come on. Come on. Hey, lag. What Bob was talking about earlier. Lag. Lag. Oh, lag. Is there a reason that the augment auto ground system only pay out explorer parts rather than the ship type display on the system? Not that I'm aware of. Nope. Wish I had a better answer to that. I'm not saying it's a bad question. I just don't have a better answer. Two of those Bajoran pools are great. You're right. Bajoran pools are fantastic. Again, the Bajoran pools are going to help me make up a lot of what I just spent. So there's a stupid pattern disruptors. 
I don't even really do these. These are so pointless researches now. But um, I probably will need to eventually do them because things are required to upgrade. But for right now, I'm ignoring. Stupid. I do have this, though. Uh, I could get that. I don't need it. <laughs> this is completely poopy. But hey, everything adds up. More is more. More is more. So even the X-Borg mat change is good. You... I didn't even think about the X Borg one because I spend so much of my stuff in other spots, but the mad exchange does take uncommons. You know what? Chat for chat and for science, I will triple pull and let's see how we get with the triple pull. That's okay. Not amazing, but it's okay. Not amazing. It's okay. It's not amazing, but I did it for science. Now this one, if I knew it would give me the rares I needed, I would do this one more. I'll do a double chest this one. But I, I just knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't gonna give me the rares I needed. But yeah, that's okay. Then there's your faction exchange. I don't personally do this one. I know high levels love the faction exchange, but I don't do the faction exchange. I don't do that one. Can you quickly explain the Bajoran loop for level 37? Yeah, I absolutely can, Prince. Bajoran loop's quite easy. You're going to come up here, uh, right, oh gosh, where, right here. All right, you come over here, you're going to kill hostiles. Those hostiles drop a currency, which is what you need to do your daily turn-ins for your reputation and the currency that gives you armadas. So you're going to hit the hostiles, get that currency, and then with that, you'll be able to advance your reputation and then you'll be able to run the armadas. That's the loop. You want to do the hostiles so that you can do the armadas and the armadas are super, super, duper, duper good. We love the armadas we love the armadas you're right the artifact one is also pretty good that's this is the tricky thing about this is i'm gonna do the mid pull this set has a lot of good in it but man you really need the nx01 to take advantage you really need the nx01 to take consistent advantage of that but you are right there's multiple good things in there did that just upgrade anything no but we can do this real quick. Let's do a pull. Nice. Hey, that actually, I think I just upgraded my Riker's trombone. And then premium pull. Hey, the House of Martok. I forgot that I actually have that Batlas sitting right there. Sitting right next to me. Yay, Riker's trombone. There's more isolate damage against battleships. Not much, but hey, every little bit adds up. Remember, more is more. More is more. So that helped. Just keto amount but yeah it's another reason to always be doing that nx01 and why you should go after the nx01 because there is so much that's good in the x borg store but you really need to do the nx01 and get the nx01 to make sure that you're able to take advantage of those things so i'm gonna do this real quick i'm a little safe pull but yeah i don't wait for events mihai no, there are very few events that i wait for it's very rare for rev to wait for an event very rare Extra one ability is also really good if you're into PvP and OPC hunting. Yeah, by that argument, the Voyager skin is also good for that too. If that's your thing. If that's your thing. All right, load. And we'll just start hitting these, and this will help with my events. So angry. Last door had no NX ship parts. Yeah, I wasn't happy about that either, my friend. But if you haven't made the decision yet, I would encourage everybody, you should be pulling NX01. I realize that it is a niche ship, but it is so valuable to your game because of what it allows you to get. The X Borg faction is literally as valuable as the Bajoran faction. It's not as easy to do, like the loops aren't as easy, but it is as valuable as the Bajoran faction in the game right now. It is. The drawback is it's not near as easy to do, but it is absolutely worth it. If ever get the Amantis, so the next time to get the Mantis is going to be in two weeks when the incursion of in-store rolls around you can get bps there get those there and then there we go getting some more of them crystals i need so daggum bad close to max in the bajoran faction uh how close are you oh i'm done my bajoran's max the only thing that's not maxed in my bajoran is I didn't upgrade Stubborn Defense because that can be uh, a drawback if you're doing a lot of base defense. But my Bajoran Facts is max. Yeah. 
I max out. It's just too valuable. Like it's why I push so many people to do it. It just is so good for your gameplay. I push everybody to do it. I max mine out. Like I still don't have this where I want it to be, but I sure as heck got that where I wanted it to be. Mike, because I don't worry about those events. I just, I don't. Fifth and final SMS events. Uh, Slay it again, Sam has been removed from the holodeck due to low level players cannot complete it. Support says they're working on it. I have no idea about that, Roy. I'll be honest, I have no idea about that. Wish there's more sourcing for the upgrade to do the artifact building because in like 10 hours, I'll be able to finally take mine to 38. How big, how many pulls are you doing? The big thing is formation armadas. Like just getting it to where you can either double or triple pull the artifact restoration, which I need to go do a rare. I can't do this pull. But that's the big key. And also, let me check my ticket events. I need to make sure I am getting my ticket events done. Because it's a real waste if I don't get all nine of them. All right, so there's the crystal. Oh, I got to do the recruit one. Okay. I need to spend promote officers or use transporter patterns. There's an officer that I can upgrade that is currently out of dock, which is Benjamin Cisco. Probably need to bring him back to upgrade him. He's that good. He's that good. Mm. Or where's Tendi at? Where's Tindy? Because I don't know if I've leveled up Tindy. I know I've maxed her out, but I don't know if I leveled her up. Tindy, Tindy, Tindy. Yep, only level 22. So we'll, we'll just level her up a little bit. And that'll help. And that should finish that event. But yeah, Max Cisco is definitely... I'm very happy with that. I've just, as you can see, I just now maxed Cisco. Well, I got the shards to max him now. Thanks to doing my Bajoran pulls religiously. It's probably the fastest I've ever maxed an epic, honestly. Him or Grush are the fastest epics I've ever maxed. Probably the fastest epics I've ever maxed. Yo, yeah, GSK. Don't, don't. You're not, it's not designed for people to be able to do the nine every weekend. It's, um, it's definitely meant to be a spender thing for sure. So don't feel pressured to do it. Don't feel pressured at all to do that. Oh. If you're the board rebel, can you pull NX01 BPs at level 39? I think you can only pull them at 40. Somebody correct me in the chat. I think. Can you pull? When can you start pulling NX01? Chat, help me out. Is it level 40? I think it's 40. Chat, remind me if I'm wrong. I know we have uh, several 39s who have their rep up in chat. I think it's 40 when you can start. You have to wait till 40. But we do have several. Uh, is um, Dang, who was it earlier was here that was 39 that was basically maxed out? Bruno says they can do it at 39 with a rep. I need. Is there a level 39 here who can show me that they can pull it? Obviously, you can't build it. We're not talking about building it. We're talking about pulling it. Can you pull it at level 39? You can't build it till the 40s. But can you start pulling it at 39? Uh, if somebody wants to send me a screeny, if you're there, I honestly don't remember if you can pull it at 39 or below. But I know you can start at 40. So if you happen to be at 39 out there, and you want to send me a quick screenshot, let me know. If you're out there and you want to send a quick one, let me know. I see in the store that says I need the rep level. Well, that's the thing. I need to see somebody who has the rep if it lets you do it. I need to see somebody at 39 who has the rep. I just want to confirm, right? So if anybody's there, let me know. Uh, 
But all right, we can move on to other questions. Just want if somebody can grab that or has an opportunity, let me know. I would love to. It'd be good for me to know too for the next time somebody asks. So, all right, one more help, and we'll do some more speed ups there, and we'll keep grinding away because this is actually the first time I've rep grinded in a while. I've gotten so lazy with my rep grind again. I really need to get this up. I could do sixty-seven million in a day if it wasn't so daggum lazy. If I wasn't so daggum lazy, I could do it in a single day. But I'm lazy. It's a flaw. It is a flaw. By the way, if you're on server twenty, I'm OPC on Isogen. If somebody wants to go grab it, I'm OPC on Isogen. If somebody wants to go grab it, I will let you have it. Go get it. Go get it, chat. If you're on server twenty. Go get it. I've not seen Fallout, Jason. No, I want to. It's just time. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I spend a lot of time working. You have the rep to pull a Negvar? Dude, I'm so jealous, John. I love the Negvar. It'll be a while before I get it, but man, is that a beautiful ship. I'm so jealous for you, man. That is great. I'd be so excited. Obviously, I know you can't get it yet, so it's kind of like temptation, but still, I really am excited for you. I love that ship. Love it. All right, let's go here. And just, usually, I do this with like three or four ships, but right now, we're just doing it with this. You built the Negvar last night, Brian, and you didn't send me pictures, you terrible human being. You terrible human. You terrible human. You're absolutely awful. Brian, I hope you know, you're never welcome in my chat ever again. And I'm, I'm very jealous. <laughs> I'm very jealous. You just built a Negvar. And you didn't send me video of it. So we could put the first Negvar video out on YouTube. Gosh, I want the Negvar so bad. We did put out an Enterprise E video. See, John, that's where I'm at with the Vorchaw. But whenever I go to 53, man, it's waiting for me. It's waiting for me. It's waiting for me. So we'll get there. No pressures. No pressures. I really do want it though so just take your time though there's always other things to work on like i said i would love to be like duck was out there and i want to have some high rep a uh, high power for my level so now duck's kind of made it to where i want to be like 135 million before i would level up and that means a lot of research that's a lot of research for me to catch up on so that's why we're doing it now your next show will probably be the uh, 58 romulan minor now i will admit that I'll build the miners, but they don't excite me. Like I don't plan for the miners. They're just kind of like they happen when they happen. They're, those don't those don't get me. Uh, you know, wake up in the morning going, "Oh man, now I'm better than uh, now I'm better than Elvin." That doesn't really get me going. But I mean, I will build them. But the, the warships, that's what gets revs, Jimmy's Russell. But I know a lot of y'all are miners, and y'all y'all enjoy the beauty of and whatever y'all want to call it of. Blech. Mining, gross, disgusting. As long as y'all enjoy it, I'm happy for you. All right, we can do this one again. Yay. And then we'll do this one again. There we go. That's three more. And we'll let those get their 21 help sent in because that's 21% savings. For those that didn't know, it's either one minute or 1% is how much that reduction is. With no miners, pirate star. Oh, I'm very appreciative of miners. I just don't get excited about them for myself. I don't get excited about them for myself. All right, Duke, you did just send me the Negvar, and you took a video of it coming out of the dock. That's dope. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous, Duke. I have never been more jealous of you in my life. I'm gonna save this video. I'm downloading this video. Saved. We might have to uh, collaborate. We'll put together a video. Because I do have six star players who complain I don't make enough content for them. So. All right. But yeah, Duke, if you want to work, we, we can make a little video and show people that. 
Appreciate you, by the way. I was just, I hope you know I was goofing with you and having fun. Miss Lisa, I want to say a big thank you to Miss Lisa. Thank you for donating to the channel. If y'all want to help out the channel, there you go. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App links. Thank you, Miss Lisa, donating $4.85 to help us with our surgery fund. Thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated that people like you exist. My kids can eat and things can happen. Thank you, Miss Lisa. You're a beautiful, wonderful person. I do appreciate you. Thank you so heckin' much. Thank you so heckin' much. Get our grind over here. You're an honorary six star. You are, John. You're an honorary six star. You are. If you had it, would you use the dual photon warheads on the pylon over the Metreon Cascade? Ooh, good, good, good question. Good question. So let's uh pull out those. So here's your Metreon Cascade. And you're talking about running. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Blind, blind, can't find it. I'm blind. I'm blind and I can't find it. Where's that? Oh, crap. Right here. Dual photon warheads. So, this one is noise. It's not as noise, but interceptor hull health obviously would be huge. Increasing your mitigation. This one's kind of meh. All right. That one's kind of meh. Damage against hostiles, very good. And that one's meh. So, two amazing bonuses. Metreon Cascade, 2100% hull health. The critical damage one, I think, is pretty valuable against hostiles now. And then your AT Hunter. So this is worth more than that. This, because that's a 2.7 multiplier, uh, multiplier, right? So that's worth more than this. And you're getting a critical hit chance for the first three rounds. So because of this right there, now I'm not saying this isn't good. This is very good. And now this is a pay only one. But you get less whole health and you actually get more damage. If you're talking about maximum, now it's cheaper to max out that dual photon. But we're just talking max to max. The Metreon Cascade is better for your pylon. Mostly because of this right here. You got more whole health. Not a, not a lot, but the critical part of it makes that a lot more damage by comparison. And it also should be noted that if you're talking about investing in one, Metreon Cascade is more universal, whereas the dual photon is limited to your interceptor. So there's nothing wrong with that if you're going mainly interceptors. But this one is just more valuable in general. And with the cost being a like huge bottlenecks here in the tier up catalyst, I would say focus on the Metreon Cascade because of what criticals do. Because keep in mind, as you improve your criticals, you're also going to help your things like your isolytic. So Metreon Cascade, surprisingly, is one of the best uh, FTs out there. And it's surprising because they gave it to the players for free. Right. But it is really heckin' good. Now, you are right, Ice Shield, that getting the dual photon gets you access to more tier up catalysts. That is right. There are a uh, special refinery for some FTs, right? That is absolutely true, Ice Shield, and is worth noting. But if we're just talking about what's better to use on my ship, like let's just say you have both, based on the question, Metreon Cascade is better. But if you're willing to purchase, there are some advantages to purchasing some of these FTs. But even with that, I would still say the Metreon Cascade is the better of the two in terms of functionality. But if you do spin, there are some perks to getting some of these things. Like there's a perk to getting the Ferengi Whip, right? Its refinery is dope. And I really get annoyed that they locked cool refineries behind purchasing some of these. But the Ferengi Whip has value. And where is your uh, photon? God, it honestly is tempting. But right here, 50 bucks to get this unlocked. So if anybody out there is feeling generous to Rev, if y'all want to donate $60 so I can buy this, I'll show you what it is right now. But I'm not doing it unless y'all pay for it. But if y'all want to see the refinery that we're talking about, somebody wants to donate 60 bucks, I'll show it to you on stream. But uh, somebody bought the Ferengi Whip for me too. But I only buy things if people say, hey, go get this, or else it goes to the surgery fund. It's nice to say, but once you go to 55, you have to hit the 55 silent and you don't have G5 rare to be able to hit the 57s. Oh, dead. Kalios. That's what a lot of my players use. I mean, I've got people with a tier four Corvus who can kill 855s, right? It really comes down to your research, comes down to your officers, all that. I've got people with Talios, though, that, that take down the 55s. So it just kind of depends on where you're at. It depends on where you're at. Thank you. I do appreciate that, by the way. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm again, I only again, thank you, Tegan. I only put four things in the game if somebody donates and says, Hey, spend this in the game, right? Everything else goes to the family, family is more important. But if somebody wants to see the refinery, there you go. Otherwise, every donation is going to go to that surgery fund. And I appreciate you, Tegan. Use the Photon Warhead to get to Tier 9, then work on the Metreon Cascade. Use the Dual Photon until the Metreon gets the whole health unlocked. There's your fine strategy, mine. Keep in mind, getting that dang Photon up to 9 is going to take a while. Yeah. You ever figure out why we got Tiger Core Klingon System rep farm numbers for killing the ships that are so much higher? Yeah, we've always known why, Ren. That's never been in question. Like, we've always known the answer to that. If you don't know, I can explain it. No problem. Uh, Tiger Core used to be a higher level system and it was rebranded or whatever, however you want to name that. It used to be a higher level system. So that's why it has higher level numbers. And it's the only system like that. There's not a version of that in ROM or Fed space. But back in the early days of the game, many of y'all won't know or remember this. Tiger Core was a higher level system that was then lowered, but still kept a lot of the values like the rep and the drops of what it had previously. So they just kind of changed the nameplate but they didn't actually change some of the other stuff. That's why it has better drops. That's why it has better drops. But some of y'all have been around long enough to remember. Some of you have not. Some of you have not. But chip it away at the 1.1 million proto matter I got months ago. Still have over 500,000. See, I'm jealous because I've yet to be able to pull the 1 million one. The dual photon gives you 270 tier up catalyst extra per day at tier nine. Why you want to get there first? I mean, I understand the logic mine, but again, getting it there is still going to cost you a lot of tier up catalyst too. So yeah, there's absolutely value, but it's, I just didn't want to word it where it makes it sound like it's an easy prospect. Does that make sense? Treasure World Pike sucks for hostiles. Am I doing something wrong? He doesn't suck at all for uh, hostiles. What are you trying to hit? Now there is, there are particular hostiles where like his shield ability you know, the captain's ability has no effect. Right? So it just kind of depends on where you're at. Yeah, you know, depends on where you're at. But you are right, mine, and you bring up a good point. Bring up a good point. Mihai, thank you so much. Donate $10 to the surgery fund. Thank you for supporting me and my family, Mihai. It's very, very kind of you. Putting it up on the board now. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very hecking much. Added it in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. How many docs do you get for free? So it, you get six for free, if you're just talking about generally speaking. Um, if you're level like 39, you have five. And then you get a sixth one at level 49. Then there are two that are paid for. So there are six free ones and eight total currently in the game. I have made an argument that we need more free-to-play docs. We need more free-to-play docs. Well, there's two factions that now need G5 mining stuff. Hey, man. Everybody needs everything. That's just, that's that's the rule of life. Everything needs everything. Too many new ships, not enough docks? Absolutely. Like, I feel like I don't have enough docks with eight. And that's, that's me coming from a position of, I'm the guy that doesn't do mining a lot. And I even feel like that. It's like, gosh, I, I need more. I need more. The new free dock will be a Dolomide Prime. But honestly, Jerry, that would be a great use of Dolomide. And now that we have three places to source Dolomide, I would actually be down for that. I really would. Like if they came out with a ninth dock, but it costs Dolomide particles, I would think that's a win for the community. Because we have three sources of Dolomide particles now. I would think that's a win. We're going to start my uh, fans account. Um hadn't thought about it i mean i, I do technically kind of have one at revduce.com you can support us monthly on our website revduce.com and we have our movie night coming up next sunday so one week from today if y'all want to support us monthly and you don't want to have to go through like youtube fees and stuff like that just go to our website revduce.com and every lieutenant and higher part of movie night part of movie night. i've been trying to grind on two crews he's definitely just not as good as pmc well nothing's as good as pmc bandit because of how the math works but that Again, that's a universal thing. Nothing will ever be as good as PMC, ever. And that's intentional. Because PMC is truthfully too strong. Like, and just speaking honestly as a gamer, PMC is way too good. Which is why you'll never get another version of it and why it stops working past level 51 hostiles. 
for those that don't remember, before we wrap up the show, I'll, I'll put back on the screen again to explain the math for those that don't know it. The reason PMC is so ridiculously good is because Scopely and all their infinite wisdom did not think about the math when they were designing it. So, put it on the screen now. Here's why PMC is so ridiculously good. So, Chen's ability is 30%, right? But you've also got research, 30%. And when you combine Pike and Moreau, you get a 2.2 multiplier. One is your base number. 120% is what the synergy of Pike's captain's ability is. So 120% is a 1.2. So there's your math. That's why Chen's so damn good. Because she reduces energy damage by 96%. That means whatever you hit hostile-wise that has an energy weapon, it only puts out 4% damage. And that doesn't count how much your shields are going to stop. And how much your mitigation is going to stop. This is way too strong for a game. This truly is broken, but they didn't, like, nerf it. They just left it and said, okay, well, you can't do this forever. You can't use this for level 52-plus hostiles now. But this truly is ridiculously way too strong for a video game. Like, that, that's... That's not how you should design a good game. But this is the math of why it works like that. Nothing will ever be as good as PMC. But that doesn't mean there aren't good PvE crews. But that's the math. That's the math. Now, there are still some good ones, like Pike Moreau, you know, uh, Enterprise E Data. But nothing will ever be, you know, like statistically or whatever the correct terminology as PMC is. But that doesn't mean that our other crews aren't good. All right. They need to make the current dock expand from one to five docking points. I mean, yeah, Tracy, we, we said that back in the beginning of the game. And it's even more prevalent now. It's even more prevalent now. Yes, yeah, Seb, you're, you're, you're taking us back in like some Star Trek League of Man history. You're, conversations I haven't had in years. Kind of neat. Also kind of reminds me how long I've been playing this daggum game. But... Yeah. <laughs> wow, I've been I've been around a while. Been around this game a long, long time. Oh, Seb, I haven't thought about those combos and the original design in a while. Oh man, it's, it's also like going back to the original like Harrison debacles and stuff. Good times. And we did do our anomalous phenomenon, Fenrir. Yes. Have you seen the South Park uh, special? Nope. I actually have never really watched South Park. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. I've never really watched South Park. Okay, y'all, look, I love y'all. appreciate y'all, but it is our wrap-up time. We've actually went about 10 minutes long, so I hope you enjoyed today's stream. If y'all want to support the channel, you can. Exclamation point, donate. 400 people here. Everybody donates five bucks. We get closer and closer to finishing our surgery fund and supporting the kids. Everything's appreciated. Nothing's required. Hit the like button before you head out. Even if you can't donate financially, we get that. Hit the like button. There's over 400 people watching right now. 72 likes. Let's see if we get that to 200 before this wraps up. And if you haven't already joined the Discord, you can contact me there or Facebook anytime. I welcome it. I love and appreciate y'all. I can never thank this community enough for how y'all support me and my kids. I love y'all. See you next time. Live long and plunder. Stay safe with those space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. And we'll catch you on tomorrow's stream and tomorrow's video. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.